I promise I'm wearing pants. They're just very short. <laughs> it's like it's, I'm at home. It's okay. <laughs> All right, now I got to catch my breath after catch. I have to catch my breath after the introduction. <laughs> I'm drinking soda water and peach vago. All right, there we go. I have to cut my peach vago with the soda water because it's really sweet. I mean, like I can drink it straight and love it, but I figured like oh, I should maybe ease up on it. So, anyway, so this song is called "Sad Little King." Right now, it might be called something different in the future. But actually, the uh, chorus of it I wrote a while ago, and it's what became the song Crowns, uh, which is one of my Danny Orthanc songs. Um, but this was kind of where that started, and it became something totally different, and this is nothing like that. And it actually doesn't share many, it doesn't really share words with it either, because I took the uh, lyrics in a totally different direction as well, so. Sad little king still wants his crown. He never imagined he'd be looking down, and he won't surrender, won't leave the battleground. But this sad little king tilts at merry-go-rounds. Oh, I should mention this is about um, the uh, the ex that I um, got to see have jail time. <laughs> people that make a lot of excuses for themselves, and that's very different from people, I want to be really clear, struggling with their own mental health or illnesses, you know, but there are, there are definitely some people where they just lack self-awareness and everything is always somebody else, so. <laughs> it's like, oh man, Rhoda, I gotta, gotta go talk about this one in therapy. <laughs> hey mom, I'm working out my feelings and it's awesome. Oh, and my mom sent me really pretty flowers that are in the, the set behind me for a secret, a secret joyous occasion. It's not a baby, like, <laughs> I just wanna be really clear. <laughs> All right, let's sing this. This is a very folksy song and it repeats a bunch, so feel free to sing along. Sad little king still wants his crown that never imagined he'd be looking down at won't surrender, won't leave a battleground. This sad little king tilts at merry-go-rounds. You complained of your broken tools, but you never tried repairs. It was always someone else's fault. You just put on it. Sad little king still wants his crown. He never imagined he'd be looking down. Well, he won't surrender, won't leave the battleground. This sad little king tilts that merry go round. You always had a plausible reason Why you never finished plays Always listen to that or them or someone else What was the thing that tied your hands? Sad little king still wants his crown He'd be looking down Well, he won't surrender Won't leave a battleground This sad little king Tilts at merry-go-rounds You never found An iron hot enough to strike I was there and you just didn't try You laid the blame on when you couldn't afford yourself Still too proud to ask for help Eloquent and pompous Arrogant alibi Your furnace is cold And you can't burn lights There we go Sad little king Still wants his crown 
Now that we've opened, it is time, it is time to switch to the magic view. So I met, uh, officially met the Misbehaven Maidens, like kind of where we really connected was, uh, I think a Raven Con, um, where we were all performing and I was like, oh my gosh, my people. <laughs> so uh, they have a little intro uh, with this, but uh, you might recognize the tune to it too, but it, it is kicked off anime day. Um, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about them after. So let me go to bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, So this next song is a parody you'll probably recognize the tune to and is one of our filkiest songs because I wrote it over a decade ago now for an anime convention cosplay skit that never actually happened. I've been a huge anime fan for over 20 years at this point. So this is an ode to the series that got me into this fandom, the ones we got during the 90s anime craze. Uh, there are a lot of references, so hopefully my fellow anime nerds will recognize at least a few. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Big boy got Dragon Ball. Made sure to watch it all. One grush kit a day. Got high on model spray. Thick posters on his door. Couldn't even see the floor. Never went to Japan. What happened to his plan? He was gonna be an idol. He was gonna be a star. Gonna get a replica of Nikki Basara's guitar. Is his job made to three? Is now the enemy? No more D and D nights, and nothing has been all right since Akira Gokudo, way before Naruto. There was Von Tescaflone and Sailor Moon on USA. The newbies in high school they tell us that we're uncool, cause we've had our Asian fix since 19, 19, 1996. the classics, every line we know, Kenshin the Slayers too, even Nadeshiko. We sang Sana's rap, knew all the guys in SMAP, thought we'd get a hand on a member of Pris's band. Wear the bikinis, made of tiger, and who's that Tenchi clone out screaming bloody murder? When did that OAV become TV? Whatever happened to tape trades, cell shades, in the decades since Akira Gokudo, way before Naruto, there was Vontas Kaflone and Sailor Moon on USA. The newbies in high school, they tell us that we're uncool, cause we've had our Asian fix since 19, 19, 1996. Akira Gokudo, way before Naruto, there was Vontas Kaflone and Sailor Moon on USA. The newbies in high school, they tell us that we're uncool, cause we've had our Asian fix since 1996. Akira Gokudo, way before Naruto, there was Vontas Kaflone and Sailor Moon on USA. The newbies in high school, they tell us that we're uncool, cause we've had our Asian fix since 19. 19, 1996. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it was really kind of the, the Miss Bave and Mains to send in. It's hard, been harder for them um, uh, to practice until, until recently with, with COVID. And I think that was uh, originally prepared for OVFF. Uh, and I am so excited to get some like, um, I, I don't know if it's on their YouTube yet or not. So it, it might be. It may or may not be, but um, please, please, please go check them out. Um, Lucky Annie LeBlanc, Saber Thompson, Captain Rouge Melling, Captain, Captain Flint Locke, um, a bunch of them are in chat. Um, there were, uh, all their socials were scrolling at the bottom, but it's always either at Misbehaving Maidens with just the N 
or at Misbehaven Maids on Twitter. Please, please, please look them up. Um, I know I have a bunch of other artists in chat. Um, Stevani, um, a bunch of the maidens, Fifth Sister, uh, Ordo with uh, Courtesan and Cabin Boy. Please, please, please post links to your stuff uh, in the chat as well. Um, I, I always love to <laughs> get like a roundup of every week. So um, yeah, I'm just thrilled to, to know them and they've been such an inspiration. And uh, uh, I, know, I know that's like cheesy, but like when you find other um, people that are kind of on the same mission as you, it means a lot. So uh, this next one, our guest, our guest for today is Gundo, uh, who has a special guest, was able to record with, uh, with his girlfriend, Sunny. So uh, they have a song uh, called, he has a song called Walkin', which I believe is coming uh, on an upcoming album, but we're gonna switch to The Magic View. <laughs> Of course, last time we recorded this, we also sent, you know, Madison the secret teasings back and forth of the two of us, so it would be right if we did the same thing this time. <laughs> you know, since it's now, we did it once and it worked, we're doing it again, I think it's going to become a regular thing. Sure. <sighs> Do you want to introduce yourself first? I could. <laughs> yeah, I'm Daniel Gunderson, uh, this is my uh, girlfriend, Sonny Larson. Um, so my turn on uh, Madison's um, tricks, at, tricks at Six? Something like that. Um, but so last time uh, Sunny performed a song from her album, Space Between Notes, and I backed her up on it. So this time uh, we're kind of doing the same thing, except this will be a song off of my upcoming album. Um, we started recording just before COVID hit, so it's been interesting. Thank you. 
What's that called? Oh, it's called walking. Um, actually, kind of uh, an impetus for the song was a job of mine had just ended, and I wound up writing the song two days later, just sat down. But it's got a lot of other stuff in it, too. As these things do. It does. Yeah, you never, very rarely write a song just about one, one thing. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, that's Walkin'. Um, hopefully the album will be out at Conflict this upcoming year, but I've got a feeling it's going to wind up slipping just because, you know, the things, we're, we're all still recovering from, uh, from COVID and just some of the timing and catch up. It happens. It slips. Yep. yep. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you, Madison, and, and uh, hopefully see you soon. Bye. Wasn't that lovely? Um, they work so well together, too. Um, it's just oh, pretty. I love guitars and, like, fiddles and violins and stuff together. It's just classic. But um, there's a sweetness to it. But, uh, you know, the cry of the violin. So oh, let me figure out what's going on here. Okay, good. But uh, yeah, no, thank you, thank you so much to Gundo. Uh, he often performs in the band Toy Boat, uh, which uh, I think includes Tom Smith and some others. Um, and then you can find him uh, on lots of other recordings. He, I'm so excited that he's coming out with uh, a solo album that's gonna be like available, available. Uh, he's also an ovation player at times, so uh, that's always a, a win for me. I'm trying to figure out which pigtail is which there <laughs> it's it looked kind of unbalanced um but I really appreciate it um he was going to be on season two but had some family emergencies so I was really excited to move into season three because we're on season three Tom Boat Tom Boat is when Toy Boat pairs with Tom uh Gundo if you have uh, some links please 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 share them in the chat I always love to tout um tout my friends so I'm really excited uh, I hope that uh I hope you do get your album done soon because I cannot wait to see it available on the band caps. We have reached the friend feature. Um, I am so excited. So Auburn Music is someone I met on Twitch. And we actually, the Salacious Crumbles, being Lee Tiber, actually covered her song, Cure My Disaster, for the Streamer Song Swap album, which is 30 plus tracks of free original music where streamers swapped original songs. And we used that money to raise funds for different charities. This year, I think it was heart support. But in the past, it's been Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation, stuff like that. So I'll post a link to that. Um, and I'll be posting Auburn's links as well. She also does a live stream, I believe, at 9 p.m. Eastern um, every Wednesday. She's in Tennessee, so I have to time zone it. But uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. After, I think you guys are gonna love this, especially if you like mythology and storytelling. Okay, so you think you know the story of the Little Mermaid, right? I'm here to tell you that you don't because the Little Mermaid was actually a siren and the sea witch was trying to save the prince's life by taking away the siren's voice, because that's what they used to lure sailors to their death. The song is called That Voice.
violent thieves of the sea she'd sing and they'd sink and that was fine by me but this one was different i could tell he was kind i saw his demise in her to die that voice even good men don't survive that voice is to die for I told her a secret Shh. she could walk among men but I needed to hear her sing a song again And I stole it right from her Lungs and her lips She could walk, but she couldn't talk Because between Thanks so much for having me. My name is Aubryn, and yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> How cool was that? Um, like I said, that is, I know, that was so pretty. I mean, seriously, like, when, I, when we say, like, oh, that's really hypnotic, like, it really is. Um, anyway, please, please, please go check out Auburn. Uh, you can find her at auburnmusic.com. 
And like I said, if you like what you heard uh, tonight around 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, she'll be doing a weekly web concert that you can watch either on Twitch or YouTube. Go check her out on YouTube at Auburn Music. Uh, and just say, hey, say you saw her on the show and enjoyed what you heard. So you can see why we were so drawn to like cover one of her songs. Like it's just really cool. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome getting to know different people from the community. Our friend feature, I want to um, say hello to Brian Baker, also known as Kaklik. He is in chat right now. Um, on his newest record, Imaginary Thoroughfares, he actually has the Social Justice Bard theme song that is awesome. Also, I think one of my favorite songs on that record is, uh, is it called Drive Through Summer. I think it's the, the opening track. I love that. Anyway, we'll, um, I'll post some links and stuff in the chat. And uh, I believe Brian is here as well, so post whatever you want. You can, um, all his uh, socials will be on the bottom of the screen and we'll remind you while he sings. So please, please enjoy a presentation from Brian Baker. We we switching to the video view. Hey, Matricula, thank you for uh, having me back. Uh, hey, everybody, I'm uh, Brian Baker, and uh, this is my second time on uh, Tricks uh, Six at Six, and uh, this time I decided to go with something a little heavier. Uh, it's from my uh, my latest album, Imaginary Thoroughfares. And it's a Doctor Who song. Uh, it's about one of uh, Jody Whittaker's first season episodes, uh, the, the last episode of her first season. Um, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of from the the point of view of uh, of Grant. So uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And let's see, I'll get I'll get rid of this for now. took my grace from me We have unfinished business I need to make you pay Make you pay It may fracture my new family but I've got to settle this in my in my own way Thought we would never see you or your ugly face again. But then I heard your voice. I heard your voice. I need to find you If I can I will kill you With all you've taken from me You've left me with no choice With no choice Then I hear a voice that call and clear through my mind saying be the better man be the better man 
Once again, thank you for uh, for having me back. It's always always good to uh, hang out with you. Thanks. That was an awesome performance of that song, too. I um, oh, <laughs> beep boop beep boop. I cannot let me get over here. I cannot say enough good things about Brian. Um, Brian, I, lo- I know you're into. I love your music. Um, anytime I'm able to hang out with you on stream, I just love it. Um, I forget what um. The stream schedule is, I know, Saturday afternoons, um, and he is in Central Time, I believe, um, Saturday afternoons and Wednesday nights and Monday nights. Um, so uh, post your post your schedule in the chat. Like I said, I met Brian through Twitch, and Brian has actually done an awesome cover of my song Complicity um, that I really, really like for one of our Twitch charity drives, which has been really, really fun. Uh, to work on and get to know him through that. So Saturday, 2 p.m. Central. And he does a mix of music and uh, you do some video gaming still too, right? Wednesday night you do games, yeah. I was like, oh man, I'm on it. (laughs) But everybody, please, please, please go check out Brian Baker. That's kaklik.com with um, K-A hyphen K-L-I-C-K. Or you can just um, find him through the group. Um, with all of his socials. So his website is excellent and easy to navigate. <laughs> um, Wednesday at 7 Central. Okay. Uh, this is my newest one it's called Glass Bottle Cokes. Uh, it wound up being kind of sad, but also kind of... It's that idea when you look back at your memories and you're trying to, especially difficult memories, trying to make them more manageable. And um, I had a friend who was getting into doing like dollhouse miniatures and I was trying to think like I don't know what would it be like if I could make my doll like my memories like 
kind of neat and tidy dollhouse furniture, so. Bottle Cokes. Hey, Mom. 